Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Katrina Louise and thank you so much for clicking on my video. I know I'm looking a little, you know, a little rough right now, but I am taking you guys along with me today to go fill up one of my vending machines. I'm about to change into a different shirt right now, you know, try to keep it a little, not give too much body. Usually have like a little collar shirt that I keep in my car um for whenever i go vending just to give a little professionalism but i didn't bring it with me and i'm not going all the way back to my house to go grab it so yeah this little t-shirt is gonna have to make it do what it do i need to get some sodas and then yeah so when i get to the location i'll probably um do a voiceover i'm not trying to be in there too long you know being all extra drawn attention to myself i'm trying to get in collect my coin and get out okay So why did I just come outside looking all crusty and dusty and crazy to run to Walmart real quick and I get over here and the freaking Walmart is closed. Like, what, what the, like what? And I don't know if y'all heard about, this was like a while ago though. It was a 13 year old, 13, 14 year old girl who like set the Walmart on fire for a TikTok challenge or something like that. Or she did something to start a fire. And so, yeah, I mean, I, I saw that because my mom told me about it before, you know, it hit the media and stuff. So I've been new about it. But I, in the back of my mind, I knew like this little girl set this Walmart on fire and it was a big old fire, everything like that. But it wasn't the whole damn store. Like y'all couldn't just rope off that one part. Y'all got to shut the whole Walmart down. Y'all y'all doing too much. You know, it, it's, it's a little extra. It's giving a little extra. So probably just run and go get my nails and my feet done real quick while I'm out here. I ain't gonna be doing too much because I don't got no lashes on my face. A girl ain't even got no lip gloss on. So I'm gonna be real in and out back in the house doing what I need to do. And it's gonna rain. So yeah, let me hurry up and do what I'm gonna do so I could get back in the house. for real but yeah anyway I'm so i just got my nails done freed me from the shackles of white toes i am at target now where i should just freaking came from the beginning um since walmart was burnt the fuck down if i need to get some travel size stuff because y'all know i'm going to houston baby houston for labor day weekend i'm so excited finna run to target get what i need and then we're going Oh, oh, bitch, that's Sprite. Oh, but yeah, y'all. So, um, I really want to come on here and like have a heart to heart with y'all while I'm eating and just you know, talk, have some girl talk, have a little bit of chit chat because I really been y'all are like, bitch, why your, why your tone of voice just changed like that, like a somber mood? No, it's not even that, y'all. It's just you know, I've been feeling. I don't even know how to put it into words. I've just been feeling just not even stuck, but just like complacent, you know? Cause you know, like when you're younger, you're a child, you always got something to look forward to. When you're in college, you know, you're going through college, you, you, it's a certain type of lifestyle that you live in while you're in college, you know that you are working towards graduation. But now it's like, what am I doing? You know, what am I, what am I doing now? And right now in my life, I feel like 
the next thing that I'm feeling or the next big change in my life that'll come is when I start like my family, when I start having kids and stuff. But I honestly feel so far away from that point in my life. And it's crazy because I never thought, like if you would have asked the younger me, because I used to want a big ass family. Like when I was in elementary school, I used to want like 12 kids, right? But then, you know, I started getting a little more realistic. It went down about seven. And right now I want like maybe four or five. So I still want a pretty big family, you know, but it's just like, girl, come on, the clock is knocking. But anyways, it's just like, I feel so far away from that. It's like, I don't, I don't see myself planning to have a child like anytime soon. And you know, I, I could say this, what I planned, what was, but you know, really God has the last say. So it's like, we could say what we don't, what we do and don't see, but just right now, I don't know. I really want to get back into journaling and like it's like right now it's just like I need to figure out my why. I really need to sit down and figure out my why and what brings me happiness and joy again. Like I need to reevaluate basically who I am. Or not who I am, but what what makes up me, you know? I guess that's who I am, but whatever. Like, what makes up me? What makes me happy? What do I enjoy doing? Where do, which, what direction do I see my life going in? You know, like, what's, what's my next steps? Not saying five, ten years in the future, just on a year-by-year -year basis. Like, in this next year, like, I really just feel like time is just flying by and I don't really have any real direction or any real plans and I really want to stop and just take control and figure out what I'm doing because I feel like I'm going to look back and be fucking 50 and it's going to be like damn where did the time go so I don't know y'all it's just been on my mind a lot lately because I do want a family you know I do want a family and it's like so I feel like I equate starting my, my I feel like I equate starting my family with feeling financially secure and you know also feel like I have my stuff together eternally. So I don't feel like I'll be ready for that step until I make those steps within myself. And I feel like that's what's you know that's what's what's hurting me so much. Like I feel like I need to really do the work on myself and I feel like I'm coming up in that point in my life and I start I feel those emotions I get baby fever a lot but I I have a certain you know view of what I want my family to look like I don't want it to be filled with struggle you know I want it to be very much a soft life when it comes to my family and raising my kids and how we grow up you know I want them to be exposed to different things and just I don't know. I don't want it to be any struggle or, you know, not saying that things don't happen, but, you know, I feel like I can plan for something better or something more. So that's just where I'm at. I just really want to figure out, you know, being, being the best me, living my best life, doing what I could do. I just need to do some self-reflection. I really want to get into journaling and just recentering myself i need to start praying more and getting closer to god so that i could you know hear his word hear his vision hear his direction for my life more clearly and just really you know figure out what i'm doing but yeah i just had to get that rant off i'm gonna eat the rest of my chipotle and then i'll probably just run home Hey y'all, so I'm back at the house now. Um, I'm about to go ahead and insert the Houston footage. Now I didn't vlog like traditional style, but I did get a few clips for you guys. So I'll go ahead and enter, um, I'll go ahead and enter the clips that I do have. So I hope y'all enjoy the footage. Don't worry, I have a lot more trips coming up this year, so I'll do a better job at vlogging all of those. Y'all know I'm still trying to get the hang of things, but yeah, enjoy. Okay guys, so you know I have to start the vlog off with the infamous turkey leg hut. 
Now, overall, I give Turkey Leg Hut an 8 out of 10. I did go on a day when it was raining pretty badly. So everywhere that you walk, it was super, super flooded. And they had like some type of fans outside that I guess they were using to try to keep the area dry. But it wasn't working at all. It was a lot more spacious in there than what I thought it was going to be though. So bonus for that. Now these drinks, I didn't like my drink, but that's my fault because I got this knowing that I don't like mint flavored things. But I tested one of my friend's drink and it was super, super good. So the drinks overall were really good. Now onto my favorite part, the turkey leg. Y'all just look at this. Look how it falls off the bone. When I tell y'all this shit was so good. Oh my God. Now the one that you see here is what I got. I got the crawfish um, mac and cheese turkey leg. And then my friend Kalia got the shrimp alfredo. I tasted hers. They were both equally as good. Okay, so for Sunday fun day, we went to this brunch spot called Atomic Bottle. And this had to be my absolute favorite place we went to the entire time we were in Houston. I definitely give it a 10 out of 10. They gave us this huge mimosa tower. You get to pick whatever flavor you want. And it, um, it was a great size for the three of us. And then the food that they had was really, really good as well. I had these three little breakfast sliders. Now, y'all, we finished our entire Mimosa Tower, and when I tell you this thing had us drunk, when it started kicking in, the rest of our time went a little bit like this. So after we acted up at the brunch, we went back to the hotel and took a nap and then we headed over to Camp Houston. Camp Houston was definitely a 3 out of 10 for me. The music was mid, the vibe was mid, the hookah was mid, the drinks were weak. Like I just didn't enjoy it. And we had to put a deposit down on this table when we booked it. And when you book it through the link, it says that your deposit will be applied towards your final bill. So when we got to the location and our bill came, we were like, hey, you know, we pay a deposit. It should be deducted. They were like, oh, no, since it's Labor Day, you're not getting your deposit back. I'm like, what? What does Labor Day have to do with me getting my deposit back when it clearly states on you guys' website what the policy was? But yeah, y'all, they argued me down about my deposit and I had to go and dispute it with my bank. Like, don't play with me. But overall, guys, Houston was a vibe for sure. We went to this little museum as well and we just had a good time. It was a good girls trip that we all needed to just relax and, you know, step away from normal life for a minute. But that's the end of the vloggy vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching to the end. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave me a comment. Do you know <laughs> I'm why you're here right now? I don't want to play your games no more. I change for sure, and I'm